please subscribe I never say that in my videos apart from I think when I'm ending the video but please subscribe if you would like to if you're not already and thank you if you are already subscribed if you are already subscribed in today's video I am going to take you through all of the products that I have and sell on my eBay and my Etsy I make all of these products myself so they're all handmade made to order so when you order something it's completely fresh and yeah i just want to go through everything in this video if you didn't already know i do have my own little skincare business that i did quite a little while ago it's well over a year i used to have a website and then i moved it to ebay and etsy because i think cost wise that's the best option for me and also ebay and etsy help to push your products to other people that you know instead of me just like marketing the product myself i thought this video would just be nice to kind of show you what products i've got how to use them and what price they are, that kind of thing. Just general information if you are interested. Thank you to everybody that has actually ever bought anything from me. I really appreciate everything. Like when I see I've got an order, I get really happy. And I've got a few orders in the back there. I keep them over there when I've done them, ready to post tomorrow. So if you do order, shipping is three to five days. I try and get the product like post it as soon as possible if I can post it on the day it's ordered then I will do mainly it is the next day but obviously it depends on weekends and stuff like that when it comes to like the post office's opening hours and everything but I do try and be as quick as possible I do also have a new product coming out soon but I'm not going to talk about that in this video I will speak about that in whenever the product comes out I'll do a whole video on it because I really am really loving that product but I really don't want to talk about it just yet um but I will when it comes out because bringing out a product is not just straightforward there's loads of things to think about unless it is something quite simple um like my little tea tree oil which I'll show you in a minute but let's get into the product so product number one that I'll show you is more of like a newer product and I thought I'd show you this one just because it is something that I did actually use to sell when I first started out this was actually my first ever product this is just pure green clay french clay and it's just powder it's just clay powder and i will quickly show you what it looks like on the inside so this is what it looks like and basically what you do is you take about one to two teaspoons of this and you mix it with probably like a teaspoon of water or just however much you would like because obviously the consistency depends on what you prefer. If you prefer the face mask to be quite a thin consistency then add more water or if you prefer it to be thicker then add less. Also with this you can obviously tailor it if you want to put in a few drops of tea tree oil when you're mixing it together then go for it. Just tailor it how you want um, but I thought I would ha add this back on as an option because I did discontinue it a while ago and created my tea tree clay face mask but I wanted to bring it back for those people that don't want that um, option of just having a ready made like mask and just to have a dry one for as and when they feel and the expiry date is so 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 much longer with a dry product like this because it doesn't contain water or anything like that so very simple this is £4.99 I price this um, based on profits I price all of my products based on profits and obviously I do want to make a profit with my products so I will um, but I want to also try and make them not as cheap as possible but I want to yeah I do actually I want to make it as cheap as possible whilst I also make a profit so yeah this is £4.99 and this is my detox clay face mask also with the products if they don't have the ingredients listed on the labels I will add a little sheet next to the product with the order to show what the ingredients are the reason why I do that is just in case I change the ingredients and that just means that I don't have to then change the labels so just to let you know if there's no ingredients on the product there will be a leaflet that goes with the product for you to keep which will tell you all about the products the benefits of it how to use it and the ingredients product number two is my tea tree oil which is this cute little guy I have recently repackaged this tea tree oil as I have with my cleansing balm and a few other things just because I'd run out of stock of the previous packaging and I was bulk buying quite a lot of stuff and I just thought what you know what could I do to make the product look better and I just think this makes it look fresher and the old packaging was kind of like a brown 
like what what you call it it was like brown bottle and you can't see the oil like the tea tree oil inside but here you can and yeah i just really like this i still really like the labels for this it just says fresh face by georgie car tea tree oil and it's 30 mil and this is so i'm just checking my website because i don't know uh, i mean i'm checking ebay £6.49 for 30 mil. This will last you a very long time if you are just using it for like spots and you just get a little cotton pad, pop it into the liquid and then just pop it on individual spots. This will honestly last you a very long time. I really love the packaging of this. I think it's just so nice and fresh. So yeah, this is my tea tree oil. It's There's many different purposes for tea tree oil, but for me, the main one is reducing spots and it has antibacterial properties that kind of thing like you could use it in many different things and before on the bottles it was a pipette it's now like a stopper so you tip it up and like little drops come out i won't open it because i'll end up just getting it everywhere then we have my cleansing balm which i really really love my cleansing balm i've got through like six of my own obviously i can just refill my own so i don't have to buy the product and i and, and therefore i probably use a little bit more than i would normally because i know i can just refill it you know i'm not as frugal with the product um but this is it repackaged if you know what it looks like before it was a bit of a wider tin and it's the same labels but this one's a bit of a thicker tin. It is smaller in terms of size. I think it's 15 mil smaller than it was before. However, I have reduced the price of it to match up for that. So don't worry, it's exactly the same price for the amount that you get inside. But yeah, on it, it just says, a fresh face by Georgie Carr lemon scented cleansing balm. The ingredients are listed at the bottom and this is what it looks like inside. I actually really love these cute little tins. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like inside. It's basically like a nice little, little balm consistency kind of thing. And I just, I just really love how I just mix so many ingredients together and it sets down looking like this. So yeah, that's what the cleansing balm looks like. I am really super happy with the labels. I always have been. This is like my favorite color, so that's kind of why. But yeah, that's my cleansing balm. Basically to use this, you just take a little bit onto your finger, kind of disperse it around your face and then just basically rub it in and it will remove your makeup and then just get a like warm muslin cloth or something like that and then just wet obviously a warm damp muslin cloth and just remove the cleansing balm and your makeup as well and then go in after with like a proper like facial cleanser always double cleanse for your skin it is the best you want to remove your makeup and then cleanse your skin afterwards so that's what i would recommend if you want good skin so yeah, that's my cleansing balm and my cleansing balm is £7.49. By the way, I'm fully stocked up at the minute on everything on my Etsy and eBay, apart from my lip glosses. Um, quite a lot of them sold in a short amount of time on eBay. So um, I did kind of run out of those and I haven't had the money to stock up on that. I've focused on stocking up on everything else. Next up, we have my gel moisturizer. So this is my Fresh Face by Georgie Car Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. And basically I'm the kind of person that's always liked gel moisturizers and gel kind of products rather than like thicker, creamier ones, just because I find it sinks into my skin better. And with my oily skin, I just find that it's a lot kind of I don't know, it just blends in nicer. I don't know, and it doesn't make my skin as greasy throughout the day. It is a hydrating product, so it does have ingredients in there that give skin hydration. For example, aloe vera and glycerin in particular, those kind of things make your skin very hydrated, which is good. When you've got oily skin, you don't want to strip your skin of hydration or oil or anything like that. You just want to focus on keeping it clean and making sure that you're not overloading on the oils, but you're not also stripping it back. Also, I did have a comment which I'm just going to quickly address because I don't think they'll be watching this. But I did have a comment on one of my videos. It was a body shop one where I reviewed tea tree oil, the tea tree, where I reviewed the tea tree range. And they basically said to me, can you stop moaning on about how people shouldn't use every single one of the product in that range? Because I do and that's what works for my skin because I've got oily skin. And what I was saying in that video is that you shouldn't use every single one of a tea tree related product in your skincare routine because tea tree is a very drying product that's why i sell mine as the pure tea tree oil so that you can specifically choose where to apply this onto your face and onto your spots 
If you've got a tea tree facial wash, great, but that doesn't mean that you need to have every single product tea tree. Your skin still needs hydration. If you've got oily skin and you completely strip your skin of all of the oils, your skin will start to produce more because it's reacting to that. You don't want that to happen. So just use a few tea tree products. You just don't need to use the whole range is what I was saying in that video. And somebody took offense to that. But you know, if you actually research it, it's saying exactly what I'm saying. So just thought I'd point that out. Um, but yeah, my gel moisturizer, how did we get off on such a tangent? Um, but yeah, you get quite a lot of product here. This will last you quite a long time. And it's lemongrass scented. And basically you pop it onto your skin, leaves your skin feeling nice and fresh. It's like a glowy kind of product. So your skin will be slightly glowy. And I use this morning and night in my skincare routine. And yeah, this is my little gel moisturizer, which I'm really happy with. And I just like how like refreshing it feels on my skin, how glowy it makes my skin and it sinks in really nicely. And I tend to use quite a lot of gel products in my skincare routine. And because of that, when I had a moisturizer that was like a creamy consistency one, it would for some reason like not blend in properly with like gels mixed with like creamy products don't tend to go too well so they wouldn't mix too great together when I had like a creamy consistency moisturizer so a gel one is the way to go for me because they just combine so nicely like all of the different skincare products that I've got so yeah that's my gel moisturizer and that is £7.49 next up we have my calming eucalyptus bath salts so these are just bath salts for the bath they are pink and they're scented eucalyptus these are so nice and relaxing in the bath they will make your bath a slight pink color and bath salts are super relaxing for the body and muscles and everything like that and it's just a nice bath time experience so i thought i would have these as like an option you can seal the bag up once you've used some just to add as much as you would like into your bath it's completely up to you the price of this is £3.49 so again i wanted to create it to be as cheap as possible whilst also me making a profit then we have have my coffee body scrub so this is my fresh face by Georgie Carr vanilla coffee body scrub this has got coffee in it sugar vanilla essence and jojoba oil it's very nourishing for the skin as well as also being a scrub because it does contain jojoba oil which is so nice for the skin and I really love the scent of it I do generally like you know coffee scented products anyway but I do like this because it's got that vanilla -y scent to it as well so yeah I really like the smell of this but basically you just take a little bit of this you actually don't need that much at all and mix it with the tiniest little bit of water so do this when you're in the bath or something or the shower but it is best in the bath um just yeah mix a little bit of water go like that and then just scrub it along your arms it's great for exfoliating the skin making your skin nice and soft and also removing any like excess fake tan if you would like to you know when your tan goes patchy just use it to remove your um, excess fake tan you can use it as a slight facial scrub however obviously you know you don't want to scrub too hard because you don't want to do any damage but yeah just a gentle scrub on the face and you can use this as a little facial scrub so that is my coffee body scrub and that is £4.49 this will last you a long time because you only need a little bit so just bear that in mind don't overload and use loads just take a little bit because it will proper exfoliate over just give it a good scrub by the way I will show you me using these products in a future video but for this video I just wanted to kind of talk through them we have have my lip gloss which is my first makeup product which is like my most recent product aside from bringing back my um, clay and this is my fresh face by Georgie Carr sheer shine lip gloss you get eight mil of product this one is in the shade peach in the future I will bring out more shades but not anytime soon because again you know a money issue but there will for every single um shade there'll be the same label but underneath i will put like a different shade name but because i've only got one shade at the minute i don't feel like i need to do that but maybe i should um but yeah this is like a nice peachy shade there's not that much oh actually i suppose there is i have been using this a lot i use this daily i've got this on my lips today so if you're wondering what it looks like it's on my lips today it makes your lips really plump and shiny and glossy and you know just what a lip gloss would normally do i love about it what i love about this is that the applicator is quite a big size so it's like a nice chunky applicator so yeah i really like that about it but yeah if you was interested in this it is six pound 49 and a little goes a long way so yeah that's my little lip gloss but again i'm very short on stock of these at the minute i think i've only got like three left or something 
but I will obviously restock at some point, but not yet. So yeah, that is all of my products. If you was wondering what my most popular products were, well, my most popular product was my tea tree clay face mask, but that is actually being replaced by something coming soon that I much prefer. Um, but that was my most sold product. And then my little tea tree oils, they are my most sold product as well. And what else? My moisturizer is probably my next most sold product. My most repurchased product is my tea tree oil as well. People will rebuy that. And um, and my cleansing balm, that, that gets sold as well, but I'm just ordering them in the, just listing them in the order of how many people buy them. So that is everything for this video, everything that's on my, currently on my Etsy and eBay. If you wanna go and check it out, there is a link in the description to both of them. And I would really appreciate the support and, yeah everything is made to order shipping is three to five days so i would appreciate the support if you would like to purchase anything you don't have to but yeah thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this little video i will see you on friday for a cheeky little video and yeah see you then Bye.